Spending too much time on lead generation, losing energy on endless communication, trying to get new projects, want to get long-term customers? Continue watching. First and foremost, long-term projects and long-term clients are the keys to your financial success and profitability. You're not wasting time on lead generation in between your projects and in between working with the customers. You're simply making your profit on monthly margins. Now, how to build customer relationships so that you can convert them into long-term clients? In this video, I won't be mentioning any basic tips like delivering on time that is not breaking deadlines bespoken with the customer because that is a basic you shouldn't break your deadlines and if you do you should make sure that you bespeak those breakups in advance with your customers so that they are aware of their new deadlines and maybe new deliverables i also won't be mentioning the thing that you should exceed your clients expectations meaning that you should perform so well that the client will be amazed at your job and will hire you again and again because in many cases it means doing even more than agreed it and this is a pretty tricky tactics because you don't want clients to take advantage of you but you want to over deliver at the same time so this is a tricky tactics and those who say that you should exceed your clients expectations often do not get into much details and the devil is in the details here and of course the communication part like responding to your clients messages as up or at the bespoken time and to respond to their to their questions and their problems as soon as possible. I won't be getting into much details here because probably you already heard all about this in other videos because these are basics. Communication part, delivering part and quality of your work. Now before we proceed, if you want to launch your online or IT business or skyrocket your work at home or IT career, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be here on time for new tips and tricks on how to do that and let's do that together. There are thematic playlists on this channel already so you're welcome to check them out after this episode the links are below if you haven't officially met I'm Olga I run my software development agency from home and on this channel I share all about launching IT businesses and running software companies and becoming an IT specialist and getting work at home careers so make sure to subscribe to not miss all of the advice here now back to the topic and let's start with the upwork because as mentioned earlier in uh, our next episode here on this channel how to get customers on upwork it is easier for freelancers to get long-term projects both long and short-term projects on upwork than it is for agencies because if you are a freelancer on upwork it is easier for you to do that because the good news for you is that many clients look for full-time employees on upwork and they post those job postings on upwork wanting to hire a person in-house in their internal team so all you need to do is to apply and be selected which is not an easy thing i don't say that this is an easy thing but at least it will be only yourself who you would be selling as an agency in order to get long-term project you have limited options because on Upwork many customers post their job offers with the view of making it a short-term project. They think that they need to do something urgently and then they're done. They don't want to make it a long-term project and hence they post something I need to do something urgently please help and they don't want to mess with agencies because they think that agencies will add up to the communication part and to the fee as well and they don't want to mess with the agencies which is wrong but hey we're not here to judge so the basic scenario in my practice and you're welcome to share your experience in the comments below would be to sell one person from your agency as a fishing bait and then sell other people to that same clients and other people and other and so on and the first step to doing that would be to choose a client carefully and by saying so what i mean is to look to the customer's history whether they have a good hiring history on upwork and also look at their general level of adequacy and what i mean here is to first communicate with them in person i mean via zoom or skype or whatever messenger there is i mean in person in voice so that you could hear their attitude and whether they are adequate and worth work working with and of course 
Another thing you can do is to look at the feedback that those customers leave at their contractors' pages. So better do look what sort of feedback they leave for their contractors. And of course, you should check out their intentions. For example, how many jobs do they have opened at this stage and how many jobs uh, did they hire people for? For example, if they have like 20 jobs opened and zero hire rate, Maybe you don't want to start a conversation with someone so indecisive. Now, after you carefully chose your customer with whom you intend to work even further and you got a project from them, what you want to do is to over deliver so that because at the smaller projects, the margin is not high anyways. So you want to build trustworthy relationship with that customer so that if they have bigger problem, they will come to you. And if you do a bigger project with the same level of excellence, do the next step, sell yourself at the long-term contractor. And you can do so by the communication part, by using your soft skills to the highest degree. You can agree, for example, at some a fixed priced package. For example, I can sell you my hours like 10 hours per month or 20 or 40 hours per month for that amount of money. It might even be less expensive for the customer. You can give a discount for the customer and thus you will get some sort of long-term commitment with that customer. As you might have guessed, communication plays the key role uh, in getting long-term customers because even if you deliver um, results with great excellence and even if your code is flawless and even no testing uh, is required, still, if you are rude to the customer, you or your team members are rude to the customer, if the communication is poor, if you do not reply in due time or if your or your team member's English level is poor, your relationship with that customer is done. Now, to not let this happen, make sure to check out this episode of mine where I talk about the importance of soft skills for engineers and a number of useful hacks how to prevent getting your project in trouble because of poor communication of your engineers with that customer. Now, if this is already the case and you have established long trustworthy relationship with the customer on Upwork, you have two options, either stay in the platform or leave it for good. There is a legal option of doing so on Upwork, even though the conditions and the terms of doing so are monstrous. Now, it's up to you whether you want to save on Upwork commissions or you just leave it be. It really is up to you I suggest and I recommend that you stay on the platform so that first you get more and more experience on the platform and more and more hours worked on the platform and this will serve as a means of credibility in the eyes of future potential clients on Upwork. And second, if you work with the client long enough, your commission will be dropping down and Upwork reduces the commission of working with one steady customer and probably your commission would be as low as 5% only, which is great, I think. However, if you decide to leave the platform, I strongly recommend that you bespeak payment schedule in advance with your customer because when you work via Upwork, uh, you have some steady rules there and you have sort of protection, payment protection there. And when you work directly with the customer, you don't have all of that and all the risks are on you. So I suggest that you speak with your customer the payment schedule twice per month and of course take some advance payment, at least 50% in advance. It will be perfect if uh, customers pay you 100% in advance. You can use, try to use fixed um, hours packages in order to do that, but at least 50% should be coming in advance so that not all of the risks are yours. Now, quick interruption. If you like the video so far, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon and let's proceed. Now, what about other platforms and sales channels? How to get customers there? By the way, if you don't know where to get customers from outside of Upwork, make sure to check out this video of mine where I talk about several sources of how to get customers for your IT service business. Now, there are several tactics of how to get long-term customers but I will only share uh, the tactics that worked for 
ourselves maybe others work as well but i cannot speak from experience here so better i won't so i will be only sharing my experience and what worked for us if you have any other methods please share with us in the comments below so for a service-based slash outsourcing slash outstaffing uh, it company or any service company the best tactics would be to sell your people as an outstaff this will be the best business model for you in order to get steady monthly margin out of one full-time employee because in all other cases you are constantly on the lookout for new projects. Now, outstaffing business model implies that you sell one full-time employee to one customer and then sell more and more of your timbers either to that customer or to other customers and thus you diversify your uh, income streams, your client streams and at the same time you have some fixed steady margin. Given that you offer excellent service, great expertise, adequate staff and stellar communication, the hardest part for you would be to sell that first one full-time employee to that customer. But not always. We had a case where we sold that first employee to the customer easily, but then that customer just uh, um, refused to expand their collaboration with ourselves, even though they were super satisfied with the service, with the results and with our business model and with the communication, but they had this internal policy to not be dependent on one or two or three contractors, so they like also diverse, diversified their contractors base. So after several years of trying to break the glass ceiling we gave up but the general scheme looks exactly like described above this is all for today if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and click all the buttons you find below and i will be waiting for you here next wednesday with more tips on online businesses it businesses it careers and work at home careers so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon and be here on time next wednesday as usual i'll be waiting bye